Hi, I'm Teresa Rao, IPC Director of Assembly Technology. A few weeks ago, two of our industry's most important electronic standards, IPC J Standard 001 and IPC A610, were updated to F revisions. The documents now include requirements covering technical advances in solder on plastic surface mount components, new criteria for P-style and solder charged but I terminations, a change to void criteria for BGAs, and enhancements to the language within the documents to provide ease of clarity where users found the language confusing or not well defined. Newly added photos help facilitate further understanding. Though often used as companion documents, J Standard 001 and 610 have unique purposes. 001F is a materials and process requirements document and is critical for use during manufacturing. 610F is a post-assembly acceptance standard used to ensure that electronic assemblies meet acceptance requirements. The committees that develop these documents consist largely of the same volunteers. Committee members worked diligently to prepare the revisions in response to changes in technology. As the revisions were developed, the committee stressed the importance of using the best information available to them. When making technical changes, we made our mantra in data we trust. One of the major changes involved the shrinking size of plastic packages that affect solder touching component bodies. In the past, solder could not touch components where the space from the top of the lead to the bottom of the plastic component was 0.15 millimeters or less because of the potential for future failure. As the size of these packages shrink, it's increasingly difficult to avoid contact while maintaining sufficient solder to assure a reliable connection. We didn't find significant occurrences of failure when solder touched the plastic bodies. There was much discussion of this topic, and we expect as research in this area continues, we'll consider future revisions. The section on conformal coating also went signific underwent significant changes. We revised the way we look at conformal coatings and provided new information on coating thickness. We also looked at bubbles and voids, expanding our criteria for acceptance and also included a section on transparent coatings. The standards also cover Class II plated through hole vertical solder fill and Class II flux activity criteria. Criteria for the minimum vertical fill of solder in supported holes with component leads is now 75% when a component has less than 14 leads and 50% when a component has 14 or more leads as shown in the table. This revised requirement is illustrated in this figure where we again see the change in the minimum acceptable vertical solder fill requirement in class two products with supported holes with component leads. This change in hole fill requirements resulted in a number of concerns about assemblies with power and ground planes. And since the release of the documents, Data has been submitted supporting further change to relieve the 75% hole fill requirement for components with, with less than 14 leads when these are present. In light of the data, the committees recognize that further discussion is warranted and this may lead to an amendment in the future. Amendments are provided at no charge to those who have purchased the new standard. When IPC standards are updated, the language usually evolves in response to users' concerns and questions. As a global organization, our goal was to improve readability for those who are new to the technology and to make it easier to translate the standards when required. Translations to the F revisions and training programs based on the revised standards 
will be released in the coming months. To purchase the standards, please visit www.ipc.org. If you have any technical questions about the revisions or would like to participate on the standards development, committees that work on the documents, please contact me at answers at ipc.org or Teresa Rao at ipc.org. Thank you.